Hi everyone, welcome to the Joy of Blue collaboration. This is hosted by Sarah at Crafting and Relaxing. And each month we just try and use blue in our crafts. And um, so this month I picked out this um, paper share partial pack of Regency Park 6x6 inch Stampin' Up um, that I bought from a demonstrator. Some of the demonstrators do what's called a paper share where you pre-order a paper share and you get a selection of all the papers in that current catalog. And this was from the January to April 2023 mini catalog on page 31. And it has balmy blue and native, native navy for their blues. So the native navy is the darker one. These particular papers here I'm not going to be using. And I thought I would use this one with, uh, I don't really care for that petal pink with the balmy blue, but I do like the back of it, the, um, I forget what color, Mango Melody with the darker blue. And I do have balmy blue cardstock and Knight of Navy cardstock. So these are the other papers. I don't know if I'll use all of them, but again, I might use, that has some yellow in it. It also has a green which is shaded spruce. I might bring in some of that. I'm not sure. And then um, I have these two which are just navy and balmy blue and white. And this one is balmy blue with a little navy and white, the opposite. So I'll do some cards or something with those. And then these two, I actually do like the pattern on the other side of these. So I don't want to use much of these, but I thought as an accent so like the navy with this um, or the balmy blue with this or this would be good probably that one this one i'm leaning towards using either the yellow or the shaded spruce as an accent so let me get started and see what i come up with and i'll be back with what i do here is what i made everyone i only used four sheets of paper instead of i think the six or seven i had originally pulled out one was this yellow, which was on the back of a paper I didn't care for. One was this floral, which I used here on the background, here on the front. This is the reverse of a paper, but I can't remember which one. I think it's the reverse of this floral. So I used it as a band. Uh, this was, and here's another piece of that, that I just used as a flag. Then uh, I used this blue polka dot, which was the back, or sort of like snow almost. Um, and I use that as the background here and as a little strip here and here. And then this floral, which I used as a background here and a floral here. And then one of these, I can't remember which one. Um, this one has a stripe on the back and I used it as a band going across here. It looks like it doesn't go all the way across, but it's just that the light blue stripe ended there, unfortunately. And this is the paper that the blue was on back of. And I saved that instead of using a wide strip on this one. I could have, but I wanted to use this side for a future project. So I just have this left, which I can use as a flag, and one tiny piece of the yellow which i can use as a future flag or something also if i so choose now i brought in um, a few things i was um going to use these flowers but i'm lazy and low on time <laughs> today because i'm doing this the same day that it has to go up but i was originally thinking i would do these in yellow the mango melody and the balmy blue yeah, but I went looking and also possibly this or this for some of these. But I went looking through my flower stash instead and I found these. I miss AC Moore. These were Love Nicole by AC Moore, which I bought in uh, 2018 April. And I think they closed in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, the pale blue looked close enough to me. And this pack had this teal color, which doesn't match, but the yellow, it was the only yellow flowers I had, and I wanted that to kind of go with this. So I think they came out cute, um, but I did use the stamp set here. I used the for a special person on a special day for three of the cards. 
Um, and then I, I use this thank you for this one out of Hello Beautiful. Uh, this, I don't, I, I think this is in the annual catalog, but I'm not positive. These I'm pretty sure are. Um, and here I use the oval and this um, funny kind of shaped oval for that thank you. And then I did use this sort of, can you see that odd shaped circle? It's a circle, but it has those lines going every which way. And this um, circle here to stamp the sentiment. And then for um, these two, I just used, um, these are retired stitch shapes dies that has oval circles and I believe squares. Anyway, they're retired. They have some other kind now, but it doesn't have ovals in it. So I used those for these two. And that's it. It just goes to show, you know, four cards from short, four sheets of paper, but heavy usage of the designer paper. Don't, I love double-sided paper because you can do so much with it, right? And I did um, bump up all the these uh, centerpieces, so... Anyway, that's my project for Joy of Blue this month. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions on how I, I did these, they're pretty easy cards. But I'm trying to use my stash of paper and embellishment type things. Now, I could also add some bling on here, but I don't really feel like I need it. I know I have some navy blue rhinestones. Um, which, oh, this, by the way, is Night of Navy. I don't remember if I told you that by Stampin' Up. And the lighter blue, the only one I have on light blue card base is, um, this is Balmy Blue, is this one. Because I thought it brought out the light blue and the flowers. But on this one, it was it was too much light blue. I needed the darker blue as a contrast. I like the, the yellow and the blue the best, but I like them all. I think they came out pretty. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and be sure to use the hashtag and go find all the other participants. Thank you so much to Sarah, Crafting and Relaxing, for hosting. Um, blue is my favorite color, all shades, especially turquoise, but I really like all shades of blue. All right, take care. See you next month on Joy of Blue. Also, I did post today on my other channel, Dahlia Designs Jewelry and More. And I'll put a link to that down below if you want to go see uh, what I made for um, Joy of Blue on that channel too. Bye for now. Have a great day and a great February.